Well, welcome back with Feature Volcano of the Day, going with Banda Api in Indonesia. It's a caldera in the water, so that means this would have a history of tsunamis. Um, 2100 foot ele elevation is dormant. So here we go. Tends to be explosive with latest eruption in 1988. Large fissure that cut the island in half, producing dense ash emissions and lava flows on both sides that destroyed the village of Batu Angus on the north flank. But yeah, it was also 1991, as far back as 1586, although there's a couple disputed eruptions in 1614 and 1825. So anyways, Banda Api Volcano forms a small, isolated, 3 kilometer wide island in the Banda Sea, Indonesia, 130 kilometers south of Makulu Island. The volcano rises 400 meters from the sea floor and is and is the most recent and very active cone of a 7-kilometer-wide seven, seven caldera, volcanic caldera, mostly underwater. It is one of the most active volcanoes in the region and is known for its violent activity, including tall ash emissions, lava fountaining, strombolian explosions, and occasional lava flows, some of which may have reached the sea because of its, Indone its for Indonesia, unusually evasive behavior and frequent activity, Banda Api, has also been given the name Etna of the Banda Sea. <laughs> yeah, Indonesia is a very volcanic country. I come, I came to see. Um, but yeah, there we go. No recent earthquakes, and yeah, despite its remote location, Banda. Banda Api ranks among the volcanoes in Indonesia with the best documented history since 1586, thanks to its uh, strategic position at a crossroads of the Portuguese and Dutch spice trade sailing routes. The caldera has three other islands, forming the southern and eastern walls, Lanthar, Pasang, and Kapal. Banda Api is the northeastmost volcano of the Sunda Banda Volcano Arc, its lavas are usually basaltic to rhyolitic, uh, rhyodacitic in composition. And at least two episodes of caldera formation are believed to have occurred with the Arcuate Islands of Lanthar and Nyira, all considered to be the remnants of the pre caldera volcanoes. Among divers, the surrounding waters are, have been famous for the spectacularly. spectacularly Large numbers of sea snakes that used to be found here, mating in swarms of thousands. Oh. So, this is going to be an, a cold air vo volcano known for attracting snakes for mating season. <laughs> That's a handful. Um, but yeah, 1888 eruption. Um... But yeah, Banda Api erupted explosively on May 9th of 1988. An ash plume of 3 kilometers height was, pro was produced and large incandescent bombs were ejected. Lava flows traveled east towards near island. A row of five vents were active at the summit during eight, the 8th and through 10th of May. Frequent earthquakes were felt in near a village 2 kilometers east of the summit. 1,800 residents were evacuated to Nira and Lantar Islands. And 5,000 of Nira's city residents were evacuated to safer areas. Mm -hmm. Satellite observations showed that the ash from the eruption reached an altitude of 16 kilometers. The eruption ended in August of 1988. Now, something I noticed is a lot of large eruptions appear to happen in May. Helens, um, Kilauea of 2018, this, Ron, there's a few others. There's quite a few others, um, but yeah. Satellite imagery. There's a hazard map. Um, can't zoom in. I tried, can't zoom in. And yeah. Actually, a little bit of this. Here we go. Let's get that out of the way. Get an itch out of my eye. Um, but yeah. 
um, Banda P. Increased earthquake suggests volcano may be preparing for a new eruption. Um, that's what, from April 10th of 2017. Um, but yeah, in, the the VSI uh, raised the alert for the remote volcano from normal 1 to Waspada Watch 2 on a scale of 1 to 4. The decision was based on geological, uh, geophysical monitoring data that suggests that the volcano which has been dormant since its last eruption in 1988, has become restless and could be preparing for a new eruption in the medium-term future, month or months or years from now. Well, we could still have that eruption. In particular, seismic activity has increased since late February, early March this year. Several moderately large earthquakes have occurred in the area during the past weeks, and several shocks were felt by the small population of the island. The most recent increase of seismic activity, which was triggered, which triggered the raise in alert, was a local earthquake on April fourth. Speak of Indonesian earthquakes, um, but yeah, for now, most seismic activity has been deep and not showing characteristics of magma movement at shallow depths inside the volcano edifice, which would be expected of an eruption was imminent. Banda Api is one of the most affected volcanoes in the region. Um, so yeah, this is just recap of what I mentioned before. Yeah. And yeah, this thing appears to have a history with uh, tsunamis. So, with that, that is it. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.